Please welcome Executive Vice President, CRM Applications, Salesforce, Mike Rosenbaum. Hey, everybody. So uh, welcome, everyone, to the Salesforce for Service keynote. Please rush in and take your seats because you don't want to miss a minute of it. We have an incredibly uh, good show here today with some great customers and some great technology, some great demos. But before we do it, what do we have to do? We have to look at our safe harbor statement. So here we go. Wouldn't be a Salesforce presentation without uh, the safe harbor statement. And I hope that you uh, have all finished reading it because now it is time to start the show. So let's go. <laughs> How are you guys doing? <laughs> Welcome to the Salesforce for Service keynote. Now, you guys have had an amazing week, right? Had a great week? You guys came to this beautiful city of San Francisco, and you jumped right into Dreamforce. And on Tuesday, you got to experience the Innovation Showcase, right? And you got to see incredible brands like Coca-Cola, and Ford, and you got to see how they were using Salesforce to power a new era of customer success. And yesterday, who'd you guys meet yesterday? Einstein, right? You guys met Einstein, and Mark and Parker and Alex introduced you to your own personal data scientist for each and every one of your businesses. Well, today, this is Product Keynote Day, and this, this is like our annual customer service family reunion. This is the family reunion where we gather every year to talk about the business of customer service. And today, we have over 5,000 people here and probably like 50,000 people online that are watching this. And that makes this one of the largest gatherings, if not the largest gathering, of customer service and support professionals every year. And you, we're going to show you some incredible technology today. And for me, it started when I got off this very stage last year. When I got off the stage, I talked to many of you right over there. But when I got done, I had to walk to my next meeting. I had to walk to an executive briefing center. And what do you guys do when you're in between meetings? You pull out your phone, right? When you're in between meetings, you pull out your phone and you check in. Well, my phone was full of messages. My phone was full of messages like one from an SMS message from Brian Calbert. Brian is the head of Accenture's customer service business. And he wanted to know more about Omnichannel. And I had a Facebook message from Tom Frossel. Tom is an industry visionary and leader in the business of customer service. And in his Facebook message, he wanted to know more about Service Wave and how he could use it. And I had a WhatsApp message from a dear colleague of mine who was halfway around the world going through a global implementation, and all he wanted was help. So my phone, look at your phone right now. They're full of messages. They're full of these rich and powerful messages. We exchange videos, pictures, they're, hot, they're easy, they're fast. We do them in the context of our life when we're traveling, at dinner. We all love sending these messages. And today, we're gonna introduce you to an incredible innovation. We're gonna show you how you can use this for service. And we're gonna introduce you to the world of conversational service. Now the first thing that we do every year the very first thing that we do every year is we go out on the road and we sit with each and every one of you in your engagement center because this is where service happens, in your engagement center with your customers. 
So we went around the world and we went to Italy and we got to sit with this incredible company named Enel. Enel is Southern Europe's largest power company and, and utility. And they're using service to differentiate, the, differentiate their brand. And we went to Japan and we sat with this incredible company named MeCard. MeCard is the loyalty and rewards program for one of the most respected retailers and department stores in Japan. So they got to service their customers in an entirely new way. And in Australia, there's something magical happening in Australia. Because what they're doing is they're taking the business of customer service, the tenants of customer service that we all know and love, but they're wrapping it around at-risk children. They're using what we do every day, and they're making sure that every child has every single advantage. So we go around the world, and we meet all of you, the trailblazers. And last year, we ended up back in the US, and we ended up back with Cisco. Cisco is one of the world's great technology companies and one of Salesforce's strongest business partners. And they're using the service cloud. Yeah, let's give a shout out to Cisco in there. Woo! And they're using the service cloud not only for their customer service, but for their technical service as well. So you guys are blazing incredible trails in the business of service. And what you're doing is absolutely remarkable. What you're doing is absolutely incredible. Every single day, you're serving up over 50 million knowledge articles, 50 million pieces of critical information for your agents and for your customers, making sure they have the right piece of information at the right time. And you've built these marvelous customer communities. Inside of those communities are 87 million members. This is where they're coming for self-service. But there's really only one metric in the business of customer service that makes its way from the customer all the way to the boardroom. And that metric is CSAT. And what you're doing is nothing short of remarkable by driving an almost 30% increase in your customer satisfaction using the service cloud. Now think about that for a second. You guys have budgeting season, right? You gotta go get budget once a year to, to run your business. Well, what if this year you were given almost 30% more budget for your service organization? Would that be good? All right, now what about your company's revenue? What if that grew by 30% every year? Would that be great? And what about personally? If your personal income grew by 30% this year, wouldn't that be fantastic? Yes. Well, what you're doing, I know I would love that. Mike, you're over there, can you help with that? So what, what you're doing is nothing short of remarkable by driving your customer satisfaction almost 30% every single year. And one of the ways that we've done this together, one of these incredible things that we've built together is trust. So at Salesforce, we release product three times a year for you. Three times a year specifically designed for your business. And this past year has been full of innovation. Because of you, it was your feedback that motivated us to release Field Service Lightning this past March. You ask us to build a fast, easy to use, mobile first, offline first, field service application for every one of your mobile workforce. And you ask us to make Omnichannel even better. With Omnichannel Supervisor, your managers and supervisors can connect with every one of your agents and make sure that they're in the right queue at the right time helping your critical customers. And SOS, the two-way video, the video product that we made, we made it two-way so that when your customers are, need help in their mobile app, your agents can see them, and they can see your agents, or your customers can even turn it around, and they can point the phone at anything that they need help with in their environment. This was the feedback that you gave us, and the customer success that you've driven, and the market has recognized that. The market has recognized this. Gartner, for the eighth year in a row, has recognized the service cloud as the clear leader in the magic quadrant for customer engagement. And this is because of you. This is because of what you do every single day in the business of customer service. So I want to say thank you. I want to say a profound thank you to every member of your service organization, both here and at home. Did you guys know it's Agent Appreciation Week? Do you guys know that? Let's say thank you to your agents. Thank you to our customers our partners and our prospects for continuing to push us. And thank you guys for being trailblazers. 
And now I'd like to introduce a very special trailblazer. Now I'd like to introduce a trailblazer that is doing important work in the area of domestic violence. This is a global epidemic that affects so many of us. In the United States alone, domestic violence affects one out of every four women and one out of every seven males. And 75% of us know somebody that's been affected by domestic violence. This organization doesn't have customers. They have survivors. I think Mark Benioff said it best. The business of business is to make the world a better place, and that's exactly what this organization is doing. So I'd like to give a please warm welcome to Katie Ray Jones, the CEO of the Domestic Hotline. Let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> Katie, how are you? Thank you so much for being here, Katie. Thank you for having us. We're so pleased. You're on the front lines of this every day. What do you see? So this is where I'll start crying because I can never do this without um, tears. But certainly for our organization that serves anywhere between 1,300 and 1,500 women, men, and children a day, we see a lot of tragedy, heartbreak, and often it is the first call for help. So it's critical that we answer that call, that chat, that text the first time someone reaches out for help. We know that a lot of the people who reach out to us haven't told anyone what's happening to them. And I'm always taken by surprise, and I shouldn't be, I've been doing this work for 20 years, of the women who call and share just really horrific situations, knives being held to their throat, guns being held to their head, kids witnessing a lot of abuse in the home and moms trying to find a way out. And that's why our mission is to answer that call and shift power back to women, men, and children who are suffering from domestic violence. And across, I mean, you're dealing with so many people and there's such a wide range of data you're getting from the interactions to the channels. How, do, how does technology help you serve all of these people that that need help? Technology is the cornerstone of who we are, and we have evolved over the 20 years of our existence to ensure that we can remain nimble and responsive to victims' needs. When we started 20 years ago, it was a handheld phone, maps that we had on paper that we were guiding victims to services, and today all of that is on a platform. And we utilize Salesforce to help us move through all of the information and resources and data to get to the next call quicker. Yeah. Because when we don't move efficiently, we're not able to save lives. Right. And your organization, we've got to help you. We all have to help you, right? So we're going to pause right now. And I want everybody to look up at the screen right now. And what we're going to do, I want you guys to pull out your phone. And everybody at home can do this at well. I'd like you guys to pull out your phone, pull out your messaging app, and I'd like you to text this number. What you're going to get is you're going to get a link to the hotline, and you're going to engage with the hotline, and you're, we're all going to help them. But it's way more than this, right? What else can we do? What does everybody here and online need to know? As you mentioned, this is an epidemic in our country. The stats are staggering, and teens are reporting at higher rates than adults. So it's time for us to do an intervention. This yep. is something that is preventable. We can end domestic violence, but it's going to take all of us. And even visiting our website and learning the signs of an abusive relationship, 75% of people know someone who is impacted by this issue, and they're probably suffering in silence. Most of the time when we hear of a tragedy, tragedy that happens, people say, I knew something wasn't right. right. Have a conversation. Connect them to the hotline. You can call the hotline yourself and find out how to talk to someone about the issue, how to help a friend, a family, a loved one. Because it could be anyone. Even if it's not in your family, maybe it's the person checking you out at the grocery store. Maybe it's the person who cuts your hair, yeah. the person sitting next to you in church. Let's help people. They need resources. They need help. And they deserve a better life. Well, Katie, Salesforce wants to help. And we've got to do so much more. But we'd like to start right now. And on behalf of Salesforce, we'd like to present you and your organization with a check for $25,000 for everything that you're doing. Oh, it's amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's great. Thank you. Yeah. 
We'll do more later. Thank you so much. No, thank you. This is going to save so many lives. I hope you guys know that. You we are do. changing the world. And we got to do a lot more. Through what you're doing for us. So thank you so much. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Pretty remarkable, right? Pretty humbling. Okay. Our North Star, our North Star at Salesforce, it's you. It's each and every one of you, our customers. And that's because your North Star is your customers. But your customers continue to change and evolve and they've redefined how they want to have service. Your customers start off by calling you and then they emailed you and then they use social channels and then they wanted you to build service into the apps that you built for them. Now your customers are messaging. Just like the example that I mentioned, just like each and every one of you, pull out your phones, look at your phones. This is the way that we communicate today. It was just a little under 10 years ago when the number of messages sent every day eclipsed the number of phone calls sent every day. Think about that. We love this channel. Today we're sending 80 billion messages a day. And I know I love this channel. And I'm gonna get really personal here. I want everybody to meet my mom. Say hi to my mom. She's down there on the bottom left. Say hi, mom. How you doing? She's up in northern Wisconsin right now, and she's an absolute saint, because she's watching that giant, furry, 140-pound Newfoundland dog of mine while I'm here with all of you at Dreamforce. And my mom, it, you know, we carried on this, we started this conversation weeks ago or months ago. It's rich, it's powerful, it's conversational, it's exactly what we all do every day. I love it, you love it, and your customers love it. But there's a problem, right? And the problem is that you cannot do it right now. You can't use it to talk to your customers in the context of business or in the context of service. There's a communication gap, okay? There's a conversation gap. This conversation gap, this is where your customers are. Your, co your contact centers were designed for an era where they would call you or they would email you and you'd be done with that interaction. But you think about how we talk now, it's conversational. It transcends just one particular interaction. And it's rich in video and audio and pictures. And where there's billions of these transactions. And this was the mission that we wanted to solve. We wanted to give you a piece of technology to use conversational service in your organizations. And that's exactly what we did. The customer success platform is the perfect platform for this new era of communication. Your customers want to use any channel, from the highest touch to the lowest touch, or even the new channels where there's no touch, or there's a bot, or an automatic IoT connected service. This is why we built field service, offline and mobile first, so that when your customers are getting service in their home, face to face or office, they had a rich and powerful tool. Or when your customers are emailing you, you can use omnichannel or snap-ins. And of course, we live in this, in this incredible connected world. So your devices can now automatically communicate back to Salesforce and we can recognize a case or a ticket or trouble and we can escalate that to an agent or automatically dispatch a field service tech for a no-touch service, for no-touch service. So this slide needs no introduction other than thank you. You've helped make the world's number one customer service platform even better. Thank you. What, the feedback that you've given us and motivated us on our roadmap, we're introducing to you conversational service as built right into the service cloud. We've made the console even better for your agents. We've added lightning snap-in so you can embed service directly into the mobile apps that your customers are in. And all of this is powered by Einstein your own personal data scientist, and he's built right into the fabric of Salesforce and of Service Cloud. And of course, this past year, we just released Field Service Lightning for every one of your mobile workers. Now, what you guys asked for last year, your piece of feedback was you wanted longer demos, you wanted uh, to see the products in action, and you wanted to see the products that you could go home and use today to bring more customer satisfaction for your customers. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Through the eyes of Crock-Pot, you're gonna see how they are a pioneer and trailblazer at using conversational service. And through the eyes of the world's number one brand, Coca-Cola, you are gonna see how they're a trailblazer and they're using intelligence in Einstein and field service for their customers. 
So we're gonna start with conversational service, all right? We were so fortunate and blessed that a couple months ago we acquired a really impressive company and leadership. And the company was called Haywire, and they were based out of Boston, Massachusetts. And they were one of the leaders in mobile messaging. In fact, this past year, they won the award for the most innovative mobile messaging company. And what we loved about them was that in addition to the product and the scalable success that they'd already built, it was already pre-integrated to Salesforce. They were an app exchange partner. So what this means is that right now, today, you can use this incredible product. And I want to be the first one to introduce you, and the Service Cloud team wants to introduce you to Salesforce Live Message. With Salesforce Live Message today, right now, you can capture any SMS conversation that is occurring, and you can bring that, turn that 1-800 number into a very useful service channel. And Facebook is going to go GA in the winter. We're working on the beta of that right now. And after we get done with that, we're going to open up channels like WeChat and Line for all those international um, uh, messaging platforms. This is incredible. This, I think, is going to change, fundamentally change, each and every one of your service organizations. Each and every one of them. And if that's the front end, if that's the front end, how your customers are talking to you, we made the back end even better. Because this is where your agents are. Your agents are talking to your customers. And we made omni-channel supervisor and, and routing. With omni-channel supervisor, you have a tool now that you can see exactly what queue your agents are managing and what channels they're in. And you can move them and switch that to make sure that your customers are getting the right care at the right time. We added more productivity tools like macros and suggested knowledge so that when your customers are, are interacting with your agents, your agents give them the best possible piece of information. And today we're going to show you service in the context of Einstein and intelligence. And how Einstein is going to provide more help for your critical agents and for your customers. And many of you have built service apps. You have millions of customers in the apps that you built for them. And when your customers are in those apps, they need service. They need to be able to email you. They need to be able to chat with you. They need to be able to look at knowledge articles and even use SOS. Quick show of hands, who here has the event app on their phone? All right, we built service directly into that app and we're gonna show you in a little bit. But this is what Intuit did this past year. Intuit, who is an incredible leader and uh, trailblazer, they embedded snap-ins directly in the app and they got tremendous results. So you guys wanna see these products in action? You guys ready to see them? Let's bring up Sarah Patterson to show us what this looks like, Sarah. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> Newell Brands is a customer trailblazer for service. They are a family of brands that represents almost $16 billion in annual sales. And these are iconic brands that we all know and love. It's Graco products that we probably all use for our kids. And it's Crock-Pot. Right? When we think of crock pot, we think of amazing family dinners on a Sunday night when we're all warm and toasty inside. But what's even better is that they are leading the charge in this world of conversational service. So let's jump into a demo and take a look. Here we're looking at Todd's iPhone. So Todd is a Chicago native, and he moved here to the Bay Area, so he is so excited that his beloved Bears are going to be playing the Colts this Sunday. And he decides he's going to invite all of his other buddies in the Bay Area over to watch the game and serve them some of his famous Chicago 7 Alarm chili. So he goes online right on his phone, and thanks to Commerce Cloud, he can easily purchase the Crock-Pot right from his mobile phone. He can even sign up to get push notifications from messaging apps like SMS or Facebook Messenger. Now this is a great way for Crock-Pot to engage with him, to send him a link to track his order so he can see where it is at all times, and even let him know when this is about to arrive at his house. But this is something that we've all come to expect in today's day and age, right? This isn't anything new. What happens, though, when Todd gets his crock pot and it arrives damaged from shipping? And that's what happens here. Think of the last time you had this same issue. What did you have to do? You probably had to go online, find an email address or a phone number. How frustrating is that to ask for help? 
But with Salesforce Live Message, Todd jumps right back in here and continues the conversation. That's the power of this. And Crock-Pot instantly lets him know, hey, we got you covered. We're getting a new Crock-Pot out to you. But you know, the second that Todd finishes this conversation right here, he gets off of his phone and his wife says, hey, honey, we wanted to get the Wi-Fi enabled Crock-Pot. That's not the one that showed up. Did you order the wrong one? And he thinks, oh man, I forgot. Let me see if I can get this changed. He jumps right back in here and he says, hey, if it's not too late, can you switch the order and get me the Wi-Fi one? That's the one I really wanted. Now take a look at what's happening on the screen for one second. What does that last line say? It says connecting to a service agent. So what does that mean for the entire rest of that conversation? That's right, that means it wasn't happening with an actual service agent, this was all powered by a bot. This is part of the power of Salesforce Live Message. You can scale your service by automating these easy to answer, frequently asked questions. And this frees up your agents to spend their time where your customers need them most. So let's see what happens when this gets pushed over to our service agent, Scott. Scott accepts that text message conversation here, and right in his Salesforce Lightning console, he sees all the information he needs to quickly get up to speed on what Todd's issue is. He reads that entire text chain that he had, right, with the bot. So now Scott doesn't need to ask Todd what he's interested in doing. He just jumps in and he starts to help. And for Scott, this is easy. He's got all of Todd's CRM data right here at his fingertips. He can go over and look at what he previously ordered, and he can make the change to that Wi-Fi enabled crock pot. He lets Todd know it's on his way, and now Todd's thinking, great, I can totally kill all of my friends with my seven alarm chili on Sunday. This is gonna be an amazing football game. But before we look away from the screen, I want you to zoom in and take a look at what's going on at the top of that toolbar. What do you see in the console? Our agent isn't having just one conversation with one customer. The power of Salesforce Live Message is that our agent is having multiple conversations with multiple customers across all of these different messaging apps from Facebook Messenger to text, even international numbers. And that's the power of Salesforce Live Message. You can reach your customers on the channel that they want to be reached on, on the messaging app of their choice, and you can scale your agents, increasing their productivity, all on the customer success platform. And with that, I'm going to turn it back to Mike. Let's give it a round of applause to Sarah. OK, originally, we had the gentleman named Pete Horin, who was in charge of that project for Newell Rubbermaid. But Pete lives in Florida, and you guys know what's going on in Florida right now. So Pete went back to his family where he should be. So Pete, if you're watching, or hopefully you're not watching, hopefully you're safe, uh, we just want to hope that you're great and that you're well. So what we thought we would do, and that just happened this morning, what we thought we would do is bring up Meredith Flynn Ripley, the CEO of the company that was Haywire, that's now part of the service cloud. So let's bring up Meredith. <laughs> Meredith, welcome to our little family reunion. How are you Thank doing? Thank you. I'm doing great. Absolutely great. So Meredith was on the team that not only built this messaging product, but she worked really closely with Pete and Newell. So how did this start? What were they trying to do? Sure, so I know if Pete were here, he was planning to share with you how when he first approached us, he was looking for just a notification solution, which is what businesses typically think is all you can do with messaging. But after understanding the conversational messaging capabilities of Live Message, he's realizing his customers want to engage with him more. And if you step back, what is an alert and a notification in the service world? You've delivered this really important piece of information to your customer, yeah. and then you've effectively closed your ears to them. Yeah. And you don't let them respond to you, and they want to. So now Newell is going to be rolling out conversational messaging and turning all of these notifications into live messages uh, across many brands in time for the holiday season, which we're really excited about. Mm -hmm. And they're also letting me customers message in and start that conversation on their own. 
And this is kind of why you started Haywire, right? It is. <laughs> and what kind of results are companies seeing right now? I mean, you're seeing things that these folks in the audience want to know about so that they can move to messaging as this important channel. What are you seeing? Or what have you seen? So the, the impact of live message is huge, and it happens very quickly. When customers launch, they see our channel becoming between 15 to 20 percent of their wow. inbound contact center activity. Yep. It exceeds expectations. And our customers are telling us that it's coming in at about 25 to 50 percent of a phone call. Sarah showed everybody how you can effectively have multiple live message conversations, and you can only have one phone call at a time. Sure. So my favorite customer story, though, is really interesting because it talks about and it really illustrates the power of the customer relationships that you can build. And it dispels a very common misperception. Some people think that messaging is only for millennials. And it only applies to okay. me if my customers are millennials. So we are honored to power a very large restaurant chain. And they relayed the story to us of a 60-year-old couple. They were in their car. They had had a bad food experience. So the passenger, not the driver, was texting in, told the agent. It ended up they were on a drive home after a chemotherapy session. So it was especially upsetting. So the agent located a restaurant along their route, directed them to that restaurant, and there was a food order waiting for them when they arrived. They were thrilled, they were amazed, and they became an instant advocate for the brand. Well, Meredith, thank you so much for joining our team. Thank you for joining us in our little uh, family reunion. Let's give Meredith a round of applause. Thank you. Give a hug. Thank you. All right, thanks. All right, now, artificial intelligence is going to be one of the most defining technologies for the next five years and beyond. And the promise of artificial intelligence, the promise of AI, is that it's going to make the very, very complex things help make those things easier. And that's why this is a perfect platform, perfect technology for the business that we're all in, for the business of customer service. And one of the advantages that we have in the service business is that we have a lot of data. Data is the fuel for intelligence. Data is Einstein's fuel. That's what drives Einstein. We have CTI data. We have omnichannel data. Now we have messaging data. We have workforce management data. And we have IoT data. This is what is going to enable Einstein to use machine learning and deep learning and natural language processing. And the outcome is going to be more help for your agents and for your customers. And this is your advantage. It's your advantage because this is built right into the fabric of Salesforce. Your own personal data scientist is built right in to the customer success platform. And this is going to make every single member of your organization a little bit better and a little bit more productive. And here's how we're thinking about this in the service cloud. Here's how we're thinking about Einstein and how much he's going to help us. Einstein is going to help us discover and unlock the insights that are currently buried inside of your service organization. And with those insights, with what Einstein is able to know, we're going to help provide better information to your agents and to your customers. And ultimately, what this is going to end up doing is driving more accuracy and higher predictability for the outcomes of your customers and drive better customer satisfaction. So this is what it looks like for service. Einstein is going to turbocharge your agents. Einstein is going to help every one of your agents be their best. Because the first thing he's going to do is automatically classify the cases for you. He's going to automatically be able to understand and classify and triage those cases and ultimately respond to them. And when those agents are freed up to work on the harder issues, the really complex issues, Einstein's going to provide for them the best piece of suggested information. What is the right information at the right time based off of artificial intelligence? And this is going to drive higher customer satisfaction because your customers are going to get more information about when their tickets are going to get closed. You're going to tell them the predictability. But we didn't stop there because your supervisors are going to absolutely love Einstein. 
They're gonna love it. Right now, your supervisors and managers spend their time manually making sure that your agents are in the right queues, making sure your agents are handling the right interactions, making sure your agents are dealing with the right customers. Those are the complex things that you do every day to operationally uh, manage your service organization. Einstein is gonna turn your, your supervisors and managers from service lieutenants to service generals. Their role is gonna fundamentally change because of intelligence. But we didn't stop there, we kept going because we wanted to bring intelligence to your customers as well. I said it earlier, you guys have built these rich and powerful customer communities where you have 87 million of your customers in those communities. And so the role that Einstein plays here is crucial. Einstein is gonna help those customers get the right information at the right time. Think of this as the most powerful kind of self-service. And when you need to escalate a case, Einstein's gonna automatically know the right agent to send that case to, based off of intelligence and the data that exists. And there's something that is really, really cool about these communities. You can set these communities up in just a matter of days. Just a matter of days. So now we're gonna show you what this looks like. Let's roll the film for the world's number one brand, Coca-Cola. And let's see how they think about intelligence. Let's roll the film, please. Every customer is the most important customer. Think about our business. We sell 1.9 billion drinks a day. Good companies have to be on the front foot. They have to understand the expectations of the modern customer, the speed they want, the data and intelligence that they want to see, the help they want with their business to grow. That means full integration with our customers. That's how we win. That's our magic. Today, we live in fascinating times. Technology is driving immense change. And I think it's exciting that we embrace that, making certain that our customers always have good experiences. If you think about our sales department and service departments, if you want to use old, sort of old terminology, they were kind of different departments working sort of in silos. There was communication, but it wasn't fully integrated. And that was a big gap for us. I was personally amazed when I got exposed to Service Cloud and Salesforce. It's allowing us to have a more expansive conversation, real time with the customer. Previously, our call center agents were just taking calls that were around issues of things that weren't working well. Today, they've been trained no different than a sales associate. They have significant information in front of them that now even allows them to create sales. So we've really brought team-based selling to life. I can take an order, I can take a case, I can take everything. As an agent, I can handle you, Mr. Customer, your request in one stop shop. All the information they need is right there at their fingertips. A total 360 degree view of our customer. So we are seeing this increase in our agent passion. When we are able to move at a faster rate of speed, we win in our customer's land. When we're able to place new equipment, we're able to quickly drive sales. It's good for the customer, it's good for us. Something as simple as delivering a cooler. That fragmented process sometimes took months in the past. Today, with Salesforce for Service and Field Service Lightning, we get that work done in less than 72 hours. Once it's placed, they can check immediately on the box, let the whole team know that it's there. With the Internet of Things, we're making these devices smart and intelligent to send us data. So our customers can receive SMS messages around products been ordered, products on its way, it can be merchandised correctly, and we're up in business so much faster than before. It's always about connecting with the customer. And one of the things that we know is important is personalization. Salesforce and our Customer One platform enable us to identify the specific needs of individual customers and groups of customers. This technology allows us to know that their business is going to spike. We give them that information and ensure that they're in stock when they need to be with the right brands. So it's taken us from a transactional relationship between Coca-Cola and a customer to a true business partnership, and they love that. And when you really look at where we're at, our digital journey has just started. I think that the fun times are ahead of us, and Salesforce is gonna be a big part of it. Coca-Cola Refreshments is the largest bottler in North America, and they have a huge B2B operation. 
And as we heard in that video, they are using Salesforce to combine sales and service into one unified experience for their customers. And they call this Customer One. So let's take a look at how this is helping small business owners like Martha right here with us today. Let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> Martha is the owner of the Moscone Outpost Store. And for her, as you can imagine, Dreamforce is the busiest time of year. As she's walking around her store recovering from the lunch rush, she gets, right in the palm of her hand, a push notification from Coke, letting her know that her big weekly shipment is going to arrive tomorrow. And the timing for this couldn't be more perfect because she noticed that something is wrong with one of her coolers. Not only is she almost out of all of her Coke products, but she notices she can't get that cooler door to close. It's getting stuck. Someone must have bumped into this in the lunch rush. So where does she go when she needs help? Well, she jumps right back in and continues the conversation with Coke. She asks them for help, letting them know she needs to increase her order and letting them know about the cooler door. And because these are easy to answer questions, Coke responds back almost instantly and they include a link to a help article that she can use to troubleshoot what's going on with that door. When she taps on that, she's taken into her MyCo community. Now, as Mike told you about, with Community Lightning Bolt, it is easier than ever for any company of any size to stand up a beautifully branded mobile community just like this. And it comes with all of the workflows and components built in. It's a great out-of-the-box solution. But what's even better than that? This is an intelligent community. Einstein is using the knowledge of who Martha is as a customer and what she's trying to do to serve up relevant knowledge articles and help topics to try to help her solve her problem. But Martha, she's gone through this one knowledge article. She's spent a bunch of time on this, trying some of these suggestions out. She's getting frustrated. She just needs this door to work. She wants to talk to an actual agent. Fortunately, Coke is using Service Cloud Snap-ins to integrate all of their other help channels right at the bottom of that mobile app. That's right. You can embed not only all your email, your phone, but you can even embed live video chat. And that's the one on the bottom left that Martha wants. She taps on that, and now she starts an SOS conversation with an agent back at Coke's service center. And we can see that the second our agent, Porvi, accepts this, it changes her entire view of what's happening in the Service Cloud Lightning console. Now, this also is customizable for whatever your business needs are. This is the power of the platform. For Coke, that means that they're putting both sales and service information at their fingertips of their agents. So on the left-hand side, we can see all of the sales information. We can see Martha's order history. And in the bottom left, that Wave dashboard component that lets her know her sales order breakdown. And on the right-hand side, this is where Einstein is powering this intelligent console experience. Predictive close time lets Porvi know she's got two hours to close this case. And this is based on knowledge of how long it took to solve similar cases and what Martha's SLA is. The one below this is the one I really love. This is recommended knowledge. So haven't we all had that experience where we have tried to solve an issue on our own, and then we've called in and we've talked to an agent, and they've repeated the same information to us over again? How frustrating is that? Well, never again with Einstein, because poor VCs, that knowledge article that was already pushed to Martha through the text chain, and she can even see that she just viewed it five minutes ago. Now, Porvi gets the entire history for the case below this. She can see the live message conversation. And because this is sales and service living together in the console, she is getting pushed recommended upsell cross-sell offers. This is how Porvi knows that she could help Martha boost her sales if she suggested she add a new cooler to her store. This is how Coke is using all of the information they can serve up together on the customer success platform to turn agents like Porvi from a problem solver into a true business partner. So let's take a look. Hey, Martha, looks like you've been reading a troubleshooting article in our community. Do you need help with your cooler? 
Yep, poor V, I can't get the door closed and there are a lot of people in the store today and I think the drinks are getting warm. What should I do? You know, it's best if you can show me. If you tap here, that will turn on the camera. Okay. All right, here's my cooler door and <laughs> notice it doesn't close all the way, but I don't see anything stuck. I see that. Check out the hinge on the right hand side. Sometimes things just get stuck in there. No, I don't see anything in there. Well, then look all the way up to the top. There's a hinge up in there. I'm not very tall, poor me. Oh, aha. Looks like somebody was thirsty. They left a bottle cap up there. Okay, let's try now. Yep. All right, poor V. I got it. Of course. Before we go, I noticed that you've been restocking more frequently than usual. Are you interested in adding another cooler to your store? You know, business has been pretty good, yes. How do I do that? No worries. We got you covered. We'll have Kate, your account manager, stop by the store to help you. Great. Thanks, poor V. You're welcome, Martha. Have a great day. You too. So what I love about this, let's give him a round of applause. Thank you. What I love about this is when I talk to all of our customers who are using SOS, they tell me, Sarah, a picture is worth a thousand words, but this live video conversation is worth a million words. Think of how difficult that would have been for Martha to try to solve with Porvi if she couldn't show her what was actually happening. And this is why all of our customers who've implemented SOS tell us that their agents can solve cases over 50% faster than they could without it. But for Martha, the conversation doesn't end when she ends that phone call. That's right, Porvi is going to use a macro recommended by Einstein to close out the case and create the opportunity for that new cooler. And now, when we at mention Kate, the account manager on this, she can see instantly in her Customer One mobile app built on Salesforce, all the information she needs to get up to speed on what Martha wants to know about. This means that when Kate walks in the door, she's not spending her time on admin work, asking Martha to repeat what she's interested in learning about. She's actually helping to drive her business forward. And when Martha decides she wants to add that new cooler to her store, with one tap of a finger, Kate can create that order using Salesforce CPQ, all right here on the customer success platform. That is the power of sales service marketing and running your entire business on one unified Salesforce platform. So thanks everyone, and back to you, Mike. Thank you so much, Sarah. Let's give her a round of applause. Come on. We're gonna walk up on the stage right now and we're gonna introduce to you the President and Chief Commercial Officer for Coca-Cola North America. Let's give Mark Rahia a big round of applause and another, thank you. Well, I just love in the video when you talk about sales and service as kind of antiquated terms. You guys saw this first. How do you think about that? Well, I think you're right. It, you have to have a 360 view of the world. And I think for us, our journey, and I think it's important for a lot of, lot of companies, we had to have a focus on culturally what we wanted to do, yep. who we wanted to be. And it really started with, we knew we want to win with our customers every day, but who are the most important folks in our organization to do that? It's those that operate with the customers every day. Yep. So as you step back, we had to figure out how do we enable our team with modern tools, with a 360 degree view so they can best service the customers. So once we were clear on what we wanted to do and who are the people in our organization that we had to empower to do it, that really led us to the solution, which was bringing the entire uh, customer solution uh, portfolio together in, in one tool. So you can sell, you can communicate with the customer, you can share opportunities with the customers, you can onboard new customers and do the sales and service that we just saw demonstrated above in one-stop shop. And you call that uh, Customer One, right? Customer One Solution. Yeah. And that's a journey. I mean, you're starting it, it never it stops, is. right? It, it, it never stops. And what we're excited about now, though, is we believe we have the right overall structure. Again, we have the right culture yep. of customers. We have the right focus on those frontline employees that interact with our customers every day, that they are the most important associates we have, and we're going to give them the best tools to empower their success. Uh, and it's with these platforms we've been able to do that. There are more things we would like to do. 
as we, as we expand this out. Right now, it's driving the adoption rates yeah. and the high usage of these tools we've already rolled out and demonstrate increased customer service. And I think, Mike, another thing that's very important is, you know, we're like a lot of you, I think, trying to recruit really talented, engaged employees yeah. to come in and be part of our organization for the long term. And to bring folks in on subpar technology, to have them do a lot of administrative tasks is not the most exciting thing for a, a college grad who's out there wanting to go make their mark in the world. When they can come in with highly empowered tools and spend their time for those that are gonna be face to face with customers or on the phone with customers, selling, helping build their business, developing opportunities, yeah. huge level of, of satisfaction amongst our employee base. It's almost service as a recruiting tool, Absolutely. service as an employee retention tool. Absolutely. So what's next for you? I mean, you've got a lot going on. You've got amazing customers, the world's number one brand. Like, what's the, what's the next thing that you're thinking I about? I think the next, the next big thing for us, I know we're, we're very focused on this as an organization, is how do we work in the sort of the IoT space, yeah. uh, particularly, I think, with us right now in the beacon technology area, where we can take advantage of the millions of pieces of equipment that are out there representing our brand every day, where you can buy an ice cold Coca-Cola or another one of our great brands, and the ability not only to communicate whether it's passively or actively, not just with our associates and our customers to update status of equipment, does it need to be repaired, are the compressors running well, but at the same time communicate with the consumer directly on consumer marketing. Yep. Uh, whether that's notification of there's, a, there's cold drinks available and, and Coca-Cola available in the store nearby, or to push out offers and deals to those consumers. The ability to have a deal themselves or maybe buy a Coke and get a free one and send it to your friend, right? Yeah. So that's the space we're really focused on next. Mark, thank you for being an amazing partner, an amazing visionary and trailblazer. And let's give Mark and Coca-Cola a warm round of applause. Thank you very much. Thanks so much, Thanks, Mark. Mike. Thanks. All right. Now your brand, your brand is only as good as the service that you provide. So think about your brand right now, and think about the service that you're providing to your customers right now, and then imagine your brand and your services going into your customer's home or going into your customer's business. It has to be exceptional level of service, right? Well, you guys gave us the feedback that you wanted us to build a product that would help every single one of your mobile workers which is why we are so happy to introduce to you Field Service Lightning. This incredible product was built to be fast and easy to use. It was built mobile first. It was built offline first. And it has a rich and powerful scheduling engine built directly into it. And Field Service Lightning is embedded and connected deep into Salesforce. So that means that it's got this incredibly powerful data model so that whatever happens on the sales side and the traditional service side is available right there real time in this incredibly rich and mobile app. I think this is one of the most beautiful apps that we've built and we focused it on your user experience on your field techs. But service is way beyond that. We're living in a new era and I want to introduce you guys to IoT for service. So many of your brands either have connected products or you're using connected products as consumers. And with IoT for Service Cloud, your connected products can automatically connect back to Salesforce. And we can listen to that stream of billions of events. And we can detect the, the irregularities or the exception activity. And we can automatically create cases or tickets for your organization. You can even dispatch, automatically dispatch field service workers for that. This is going to offer up intelligent productivity for this new era of connected service. So now we want to show you field service and IoT. And let's please bring up on stage Bobby Amazaga to show us what this looks like. Bobby? Thanks, Mike. So Coca-Cola Refreshments is North America's largest bottler, and they're a B2B operation. Now I want to show you a vision for how Coke is using Salesforce to connect their customers and the products they use, their contact center, and their field service operation to deliver a smarter, more proactive customer service experience. 
Now, Coke's got 15 million assets, coolers, freestyle machines, things like that, outspread throughout 600,000 customer retail locations. And they're using the IoT cloud to connect those machines to find signals in the noise. And they can do it at massive scale. So what you're seeing here is one of those coolers connected on the IoT cloud where you can see real-time diagnostic data. You can see uh, rich CRM data and orchestrate that data in such a way that will allow them to identify those signals to apply automatic fixes. Or in this case, IoT has identified an issue that can't be solved, an error has been confirmed, and if a case will automatically be created and routed to the service center. Now, the purpose of intelligence is to take something complex and make it easy. So let's take a look at the contact center where John, our customer service supervisor, uses omni-channel supervisor to get a high-level business view of his service operation, but he can also get an agent-level view in real time. He can see his agents, what their, what their status is, how long they're taking on certain cases, what channels are they serving. So up top, he can use service wave, uh, service wave components to see how his business is running. He can see cases that are being served on multiple channels like phone, chat, SMS, IoT cloud, but he sees something more concerning here to the right. His agents are reaching max capacity. That means his customers might not get the level of service that they deserve. So he's going to put his agent hat on and jump right into the queue and help his agents out because he wants to be his best for his customers and for his agents. Using the omni-channel uh, omni widget, he can make himself available. And when that happens, Service Cloud will intelligently route a case to him. And here's the compressor malfunctioning case that's being served up. Once he clicks to accept that case, John is taken to the agent console. The Service Cloud Lightning Agent Console makes agents more productive by giving them the intelligence and context they need for, and pulling that from any backend system, serving it up into one unified location. On the left, you can see that this is Martha Walchuk at the Moscone Outpost who's having some issues. He can go into the center of the screen to see the case feed where he gets his work done and sees that this case came from the IoT Cloud. So now he's got to get to work. And here's where you can see some intelligence in action. On the right, he can see recommended actions. Einstein is automatically classifying this case as high priority, and with one click, he can accept that recommendation, and it will automatically be applied to the case. Don't look away, because Einstein is already working on the next recommendation. Did you see it? The next action that he needs to take that Service Cloud Einstein is telling him is to run a macro that will create a work order and dispatch an agent and let the customer know. Because what's powerful about this is, if you think about it, Martha, up until this point, doesn't even know there's an issue. We've already been working on her case. So with one click, he's going to accept that recommendation, and a macro, macro will run, a set of actions all taking, taking place in a moment. And he can see in the center and confirm that a work order indeed was created, and uh, an SMS text was sent to Martha to let him know that Coke's on the way. So now, let's take a look at uh, the Moscone Outpost, where we've got our field service agent, Melissa. Melissa, say hi. Do you've got that compressor fan? OK, great. Melissa's done this before. She's using field service lightning. Field service lightning is built on the customer success platform, and it puts the power of the entire platform into a purpose-built mobile app for any field tech or mobile worker. So right in the app, it's 100% native. It was built offline first. Melissa's route's been optimized to the location. And she, as she scrolls through, she can see details about the, the case or the work order. This is Martha. She's at the Moscone Outpost. And she can see details and click through to the case if she needs to. And collaboration is built in. It's built on the platform. She's got a note from John from the service center that says, hey, the cooler that you need is on the, by the front door on the left. As she continues to scroll down, she sees that she's intelligently being guided through that work that she needs to complete on site. She even sees a knowledge article that's being served up to her. Now field service technicians and mobile workers have the same access to information that the agents in the contact center have, or even that your customers have in the community. She's done this a million times. She doesn't need to go through the knowledge article. She knows this compressor fan issue really, really well. She scans the compressor right from her field service mobile app for inventory control purposes. And once she puts that uh, in and gets that cooler fixed, all she's, gotta get, uh, all she's gotta do is have Martha come on over and sign right in the app that her job is complete. 
So once Martha signs the app, uh, signs her signature right in the app, we will see that Melissa's job is done and she can move on. But hold on a second. Actually, she's been offline this whole time. But that's OK, because Field Service, Mobile, uh, Field Service Lightning Mobile was built offline first, all of her actions have been saved. And once she restores connectivity, all of those actions will be automatically uploaded and synced into the system. So she's got the confidence that her job will not have been done in vain. And she can enjoy an ice cold Coca-Cola uh, on her way to her next job. And that's the power of using Salesforce for service and delivering smarter and more proactive customer service experiences using the Salesforce customer service platform. Thank you. That offline is pretty cool, isn't it? All right. So thank you for your trust. Thank you for your feedback. And thank you for everything that you're doing to make customer service great. We've built some incredible products for each and every one of you, for every part of our, of our family, our Ohana. But this extends way beyond what, this extends way beyond um, the apps that we just showed you and the technology we just showed you. We have an incredible app exchange where we have over 300 3,000 apps that were designed to help you be your best every day. And the customer service business that we're part of, we're gonna continue this journey, okay? You can come and experience everything that you saw today and have some ice cold Coca-Colas at the Marriott Marquis at the Service Lodge and help us celebrate with Accenture for some incredible milestones. You can pull out the Dreamforce app and you can see every part of Snap-in service right there in the app. You guys gotta do that, it's incredible. And then at our service supermobile, that's the Aerostream trailer that's out there, right outside the stairs. And that Aerostream trailer, you can see every technology that we're releasing, that we've released for you. And you know what we want to do with that? We want to take that Aerostream trailer on the road to every one of your engagement centers. So let us know and think about how cool that would be if we parked that outside of your engagement center. And now, like any good family reunion, we're going to bring out a dunk tank, right? No, I'm kidding. We're going to announce winners. We're going to have five lucky winners of $3,000. So everybody pull out your phone right now. Pull out your phone. I'm going to hit a button. And if you've won the money, I want you to go nuts and come up on stage. And for everybody else, we'll see you guys next year at our family reunion. Ready? One, two, three. Tax, who won? Uh-oh, who won? All right, we'll figure that out. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. We'll see you next year. What's up?